out and the squirrels are... I can hear the squirrels snoring actually. It's so dark out right now. I woke up today at five o'clock. I told myself, kinda just told myself that enough's enough. I'm sick of sleeping in late. Sick of the normal routine, I needed to change it up. My dad said I was crazy. My dad said I was a, he, he said I was a crazy guy for wanting to get up earlier. The truth is I just need to, I need to start making myself more uncomfortable. Different than the guy I was yesterday. I need to step out of my comfort zone and I'm excited. I love the process. I need to change. What's going on everybody? I uh, just got word in the, just got news. Just got news that uh, Hugh Hefner died at 91. And uh, you know, it's just, it, it's kind of a shock. I remember when I was younger, I remember hearing about him and uh, you know, he was actually kind of, a, he was actually a legend. Um, he changed an entire culture. You know, the whole concept of, uh, you know, he brought a lot of wealth to the entertainment industry and you know, at the cost of what? At the cost of uh, desensitizing and leaving us, you know, desensitized to how we view women. And, you know, this was a long time ago. He started, uh, you know, Playboy magazine in the, in, in the Playboy industry. So, you know, just kind of just uh, some thoughts about Hugh Hefner. Uh, you know, rest in peace. You know, I pray that, uh, I pray that you do see the gates and you do, you do, you do see the kingdom. But, uh, you know, I'll just... Uh, Say a prayer for you, buddy. You know, I'm generally like a pretty easygoing guy. Like I don't got that, I don't have that many issues with stuff. Um, not many, you know, not much, many stuff I don't like. Uh, is that how you say it? Um, no, not, not much. There's not much stuff I don't like. There you go. Um, you know, I was just doing the dishes. I, was just, I just got done doing the dishes and I got... I got, you know, there was like a hair. There was a hair that was stuck on my finger and my and my and my fingers were wet. Does this happen to anybody else? That is that, you know what? I wanted to I wanted to tape this and I wanted to to talk about this a little because that is just one thing I absolutely hate. And the hair just finds its way onto another finger. And it curls its way around another finger. That's just, I don't know why, but that's disgusting. It's probably because the hair I know the hair is dead, but anyways, rant over. Just, I just felt like I needed to give you a little bit, a uh, little value there. You know, this morning was, uh, this morning was was one of the first mornings that I woke up super early. I mean, five o'clock. If you, you know, some people wake up at four o'clock, some people four thirty. Yeah, I woke up at five o'clock, and it was super. Um, you know, it made me feel amazing. Uh, right now, I feel really good. I feel energetic right now. Uh, it's about coming on two o'clock now, but. I just wanted to say, yeah, last night I had wa I had listened to, um, you know, I had, I had uh, watched his YouTube video and it, it talked about how Mike Tyson was, uh, Mike Tyson would wake up at 4.30 every single day. And he did it because, <laughs> he did it because nobody else was up at that time and he thought it was badass. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> so, you know what? I think I'm, uh, I think I'm a little bit, I, I think I'm one, maybe one notch higher on the badass scale. <laughs> I had an alarm going. Uh, it was the weekend. It was Reminder by the Weekend. Great song. I love that song. And uh, it was just a nice slow tune. And I woke up and I opened opened a page of the Bible. And I uh, it was there. It was a really good morning. I woke up. I had a bagel. I put a little little cream cheese on the bagel. And uh, went out on a jog this morning. It was just like it was completely dark. It was awesome. Nobody else was awake. I was a total badass. <laughs> So today was a super tough day in the gym. Look at that. Right here. Dominic DiMaggio. Back when the New York Yankees were uh, were top notch. Anyways, um, so today was a super tough day in the gym. I trained myself to uh, to do a backflip, and it's weird because your mind actually tricks. Your mind tricks you and you know the your brain first of all first of all we're all born with our brains telling us that you know that we're always we always need to avoid death of course 
and that way your brain kind of tricks you and leaves up a guard for you to actually do a backflip um, the right way. But today I I had it on one on like one time. I was doing it for like 25 minutes. I looked up a video on YouTube about it, but uh, I almost had it. One of my buddies helped me and I think I'm gonna record it when I actually do get it down but uh, it's just it's just one more thing that I wanna that I wanted to I've always wanted to do a backflip and people that do backflips are badass <laughs> have a good night everybody I'm gonna head to bed now soon I think tomorrow morning I'm gonna wake up early again go for a little jog go for a little go for a little jog ski and uh, take care all right? Love you all. Bye.